hey together, here's Aaron the Black Dragon and today we're gonna make a pumpkin. That thing has a bubble to it. That thing is huge. So my dad made this in his own garden. It is humongous and we got permission to cut it open. So I got two knives, a big one and a small one because I'm gonna need them. And I have a little sharpie right here because I'm gonna draw in the face first that I wanna cut out. I have a ball and a spoon right here so that we can cut it off. But before we're gonna start with cutting, let's draw something in here on this face. Or more precisely, let's make the face. Giving him a big smile. Let's see if I can cut it like that. And then he's gonna get some teeth here and there. I say that's a really good mouth right there. Not that big, that should be alright. And a nice jagged pumpkin nose. And I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna try to cut out the scar. A few scars here and there. Okay, this is going to be the face, I don't know if you can see it good. So, but this is going to be the face that I decided to try to carve into this big boy. Got a few scars here and there. Let's see if I can make this the way I want it to look. Before we're gonna cut out his eyes, let's cut into his head. Oh boy. He is feisty. Let's see if this is working out the way I want it to work out. And I know you can see me completely all the time. But then again, this isn't about me, this is about the pumpkin. Give me my knife back, god damn it. Oh yeah. You can't really see what I'm doing because it's lying even more, even more down than before. But I've got it. I've got the pumpkin guts. So let's clean that up a little bit. I think that might actually be a little too small there. So I've taken a bigger ball as well. So now I have one small ball. Then I'm gonna cut a little bit of that stuff in. And then I'm gonna trim this even more. Just to show you what I just did in here, I cut the top off. Have it laying right there. And I think I need to trim it a little bit more so that I have a perfect fit. But other than that, it looks beautiful. Don't have to cut that all out. So I now cut the top to size so that I can fit it in there perfectly. I already cut away a lot and there's still even more in there. So that's gonna be... I don't think that I'm gonna have enough space there. So now the interesting part comes and this is Digging all of that out inside the pumpkin. I think it would be smart to go in there with a small knife first so that I can cut away at the side so that everything becomes loose. And then I will scoop it out. And we're gonna save some of the seed because potentially we're gonna grow another one next year. And yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm even gonna save some of the meat and make some pumpkin later for me to eat. Take a spoon and start to scoop. Potentially it even would be wise to just use our hands. Ah, I think it's gonna be a bit easier if I just use my hand and pull out the guts. Let's see how much I can fill this up. I even threw away the things from the top already to the compost because there weren't any seeds on there. So, don't need that. So, you won't see me now, but you see more of the pumpkin. More of the gut as I'm pulling them out. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in there. <sighs> Cleaning up with the spoon is really helping. Scrape, 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 scraping away inside of a pumpkin head. There's so much guts still in you. And I look like a mess. Blech. There are the cut, guts that are pulled out. And here's what it looks inside. It's pretty. 
that's probably as clean as I'm gonna get it, so... Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna start with the face. So, now the most interesting part comes and this is making the face. I'm gonna use the little steak knife for that because it grants me more precision. Also, I think I'm gonna turn it over after I've done the nose. I'm gonna do the nose right in front for you guys. And then I'm gonna turn it over so that it's a little bit easier for me. But the good thing is, the steak knives are fairly sharp. So let's see how... Oh god, I stabbed you. Sorry, didn't mean to stab you. Let's see how good this will turn out. And now... Let's see... I should be completely through. Can I push him in? No, pushing in is not an option. Ha! Popped it right out there. Got a nose! I literally got your nose. Okay, now that I've got the nose, I'm gonna move up to the eyes. So, the way I wanna have that is, this is only gonna kinda be cut into it and not gonna cut, be cut out, so I'm gonna start the eye right here. And try to wiggle it that way. I'm gonna make some cleanup later. For now, I want to try to get the rough cut. Oh, oh, wow, that plopped up right away. Nice. Again, I'm gonna make the rough cut first. I'm gonna concern myself with details, details later. And... Oh boy, where are you stuck? Where are you stuck? And... Oops. <laughs> No lie. Uh, now for the great thing. In the mouth. Whoops. <laughs> you know what's the problem with making videos outside? It's, it's kind of loud. I've been stepped like 100 times by now. And she's still smiling. <laughs> so let's see if we can pop the nut. Plop. Come on, small tooth. Ooh, nice. Oh, there we go. And nice. Yeah. Nice, got it on the knife. So, our little buddy does look good, but we're not finished yet. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, make some cleanup, and make some detail work. And the way detail work is, I'm not gonna cut it completely, but just a little bit, so that you can expose a little bit of the white stuff. Oh, orange stuff that is. Yes, there we go. Ooh, that... That's a nice looking scar right there. Whew, sitting on the table, working on stuff. But at least sitting for once. Always having to switch sides. Because I'm left handed and I'm unable to carve things from the right side of the pumpkin. Towards the right side I should say. Now I'm sitting right in front of it. I hope you enjoy my butt. I've been silent for so long, uh, by now I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> I'm not longer making the video. <laughs> there we go. I finished it. I haven't carved a jack-o'-lantern in years. This is the first time since I was a kid, so this was actually a lot of fun. I uh, wanted to do this a long time by now and Finally getting to do it was really cool and making a video out of it was even cooler so um, I'm gonna place this pumpkin outside our house and um, I'm gonna uh, post a picture of it working with a candle inside and everything um, tonight on, well for me tonight on Twitter as well because it's broad daylight so it's gonna take some time and I wanna have the video made by the evening so yeah, I'm gonna make the video and I'm gonna post a picture of the glowing pumpkin in the night outside of a house uh, on Twitter. And if you guys make pumpkins yourself, um, please uh, share it with me on Twitter. I really wanna see what you guys uh, made this year, or what, you, what you came up with. Because I'm pretty sure there are people out there that have much more experience with carving a pumpkin than I do. Because I think this was only the second or third pumpkin that I ever carved. So, um, I mean, I'm happy. but. For sure I could have done better and I wanna see 
what you guys have done and I wanna hear what you think I could improve on. Maybe I'm gonna do something like this next year again with some friends or something like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. And I'll see all of you to my next Saturday video. So, bye!